Hey Sal, how you doing? How's California treating you? Hey Tim. I think we'll, we're getting the sun back. We just had a big storm. We had a big dump of water and wind last night. Uh, I got a gazebo over my hot tub and they uh, <coughs> broke the roof last night. So we've got to get that sorted. Hey Gary, how you doing? Okay, so are we at half past yet? Not quite. Um, we'll get going. Again, this, I'm doing these monthly. Um, we'll be looking at the, the Trading Anon Club, so the harmonic patterns, that sort of thing. We'll be looking at Expert Algo in particular, and obviously Elliott Wave as well, because there's some great Elliott Wave trades, especially on stocks just recently. Of course, I've got a hot tub, Trevor. Okay. Right. So, first of all, I want to start. I hopefully you are all in on beta testers on these um, Discord groups. These signals are red hot and they're live, and it's free right now. Okay. Uh, it's not going to be that expensive in the new year. And guess what? Beta testers will get 50% off a month for the rest of your life. Okay. Hey, George. Uh, so we've got stocks. And, and there's been some great trades on these recently. Okay. We've got 39 minutes, 78, 195 daily and weekly. Uh, I post in there. So again, I posted, uh, you know, the HD buy. It was the previous day. I entered this with my inner circle. Gary here's in with my inner circle. I don't think uh, Greg copies as well. We traded this yesterday. Okay. We got the, the six star buy on the 39, the 78, the previous day. And we got the entry and we traded it. Okay. So what I do is in these Discord groups is the signals are there, uh, but also I like to put the chart trades on there as well. So Starbucks traded again. This is a 39 minute candle, 100% profit times risk in 39 minutes. Um, but again, write about it, understand where my entry was, where my stop loss was, risk to reward, that sort of thing. Uh, you know, so it's about it's about learning as well. Uh, and we've got the metals algo, so we've got uh, metals on uh, on here. In the metals algo, you've got my trading zones. You can download the spreadsheet. We've got to download it, you can view it. Um, again, we get the platinum, gold, silver, copper. Not been many signals to date, but that's trading. Um, but again, we trade. Okay, so uh, this was a trade that I did uh, opening session, six star buy on uh, gold, uh, European open, and boom, all the way up. Okay. Um, just really show, I mean, so this, this one as well, I think uh, if we go to the original there, I mean, that was 340 bucks on silver there really quick uh, on the micro silver there. Entry was here, boom, down. So, but I talk about what I did, what the trading stop was. This one, um, you know, I traded it live as in, I can't do, don't do all that all the time because obviously I do that with my inner circle, but occasionally I'll do it. This is my entry. You know, this is why this is the this, the risk to reward, blah, blah, blah. This is where I put my trailing stop. It's all live. It's got my live account on there with the profit. You know, this is again live here, trailing stop, taking out, taking the profit. 70 ticks profit on silver. Uh, so I, I try to help as much as I can with the expert algo signals with these Discord groups. And they are free until the end of the year to... Um, basically people to be to test, make sure everything works okay, give feedback, join in the community, in the members hangout, that sort of thing. Uh, currencies is the same. Currencies, we've got major Forex pairs and currency um, futures as well. Uh, again, we've got, I, I spent a lot of time on these trading zones, okay? I've put trading zones in for all of these Forex pairs and futures, and you can view that part of the of that membership indexes and even crypto uh, again with the indexes very simple you know chart trades i did here uh, this was smp european morning on a five and six star buy kept going kept going pulled back just for the us session another six star buy 
went long above that pivot and great trade. Okay, uh, so it's again, it's about using the signals that come in here to help uh, teach you how to trade them. Okay, so those Discord groups are available. Damien uh, should be in. Um, let me just give you the link to those. Okay, you can quickly go on. A lot of the time, obviously, it's about, Tim, it's about understanding what's going off in the market. It was an overnight high. Uh, is it, are we near uh, a pit? Are we near a Europe, European gold pit open, for example? Are we near the New York Stock Exchange open? Uh, lots of factors go into that. I like to use pivots, but it's not always the case because it depends on is there a data point? You know, we got um, unemployment. Is a bloody election going off? And there's lots of other factors that will go into that. But, you know, primarily, first point of call is the recent pivot. Can you get through that? Uh, but every trade is different. Okay. So what I want to do first is we've gone through that Discord group, and that's for the expert algo, and it gives signals live. Uh, and there's Discord groups on stocks, metals, um, currencies, indexes, and crypto. And it's free to beta test. If you don't want to get the 50% at the beginning next year to continue with that community to get those signals and, and understand and learn, ask me questions, then that's fine. You know, there's no pressure. Um, those that buy the lifetime license for the expert algo, by the way, you will get access to two of those Discord groups for free for life, okay? Uh, just to let you know. So, first of all, before we go on to the expert algo, I want to go through uh, the, the trading add-on club for Ninja Trader and Think or Swim because there's been some great trades, and I I post so much. I, I literally I try and do videos every single day. Okay, now in the add-on club, there's an add-on club vlog. Okay, video log. So I I alternate. So today I put. Um, Trading gold with harmonic patterns. Okay, that was a video. There'll be another video tomorrow. Uh, I've done NASDAQ with harmonic patterns, uh, harmonic patterns and opening ranges, uh, you know, NASDAQ again there. Um, lots and lots of videos to teach people how to use uh, and trade uh, with the tools in the uh, trading add on club there. Again, I'm trying to do as much as I can so people can uh, learn. So it's real examples. And we had a real example on Forex today. And I wanted to go through that right now. Maybe put, we use a Ninja Trader version. Okay. Uh, so a harmonic pattern will tell you uh, a bit of a story on, on price action. Now, the it's automated, automatic. It generates the completion zone. You can see here this crab pattern completed, and we were looking for longs. This was overnight. So obviously, I wake up in the morning. And I'm looking uh, across, um, you know, across the forex pairs. I like to trade forex in the morning, um, or the the currency um, futures. So overnight, a crab pattern completed. So I'm looking for longs. Okay, remember we use the 34 EMA. The EMA cloud is part of that trading add-on club, and we're looking for longs. So you know, I get up about 7 a.m., which is about this time here. Uh, we, we're just trying to creep up through um, through the EMA cloud, but I want the European Open to uh, to give me a bit of a, a clue of what's going on. So overnight, we've had a harmonic pattern complete. So I'm pretty confident I'm going to be looking for a long. Okay, this Europe Open is the European Gold Pit Open. Okay, and when we're trading currencies, we look at a 10 minute time frame for that opening range. So the opening range is part of that trading add-on club. I'm looking here, that first 10 minute range of here really was great. Uh, we, got a, um, we got a high set, it come back down, it tested the cloud, that's my entry, okay? So woke up, harmonic packing completed. It's gone sideways with a slight bullish bias. I'm looking for a long, I use the opening range, GBP US dollar uh, for me. Uh, today was the trade, okay, because everything set up right. All the ducks were in a row, if you like. So we we get through the open at this point here. 
As we go sideways leading into the London Stock Exchange and, and the European uh, stock market open, but you can see there it pushes back through. So you can use the you know, this opening range for the stock market open to add to your uh, position, if you like. And then we can simply use the 34 EMA. And again, some people might want to be a little tighter with a 21. This is all adjustable, this EMA cloud. You can change the colors and everything. Part of that trading add-on club. But again, in theory, you should still be in this uh, trade on GBP US dollar. Great look. You see the New York gold pit open there. New York Stock Exchange open. Really didn't send that down and the bullish momentum still going. So very, very simple. For me, I get up in the European morning before the, uh, the, the gold pit open. So I get up about seven, I'm in front of the computer for 7.30, start milling around, see what's going off. And obviously that, that crab pattern uh, completing overnight really grabbed my attention. So I'm, I'm rather looking for a, an opening range breakout play. Uh, I'm looking for a signal on the X brand algo. Uh, you know, is, is there a bit signal, is there an early wave signal, but all of a sudden that, that completion gives me focus for my radar for that trading in the morning. So that is, um, it's on Ninja Trade, it's also on um, Think or Swim. So if we go to Think or Swim, I want to show you something here today, and I traded some of this, okay? So this is gold today, right? <clears throat> I just want to go back a little bit. I made a video, that video vlog thing, and I talked about these two perfect gold trades when we had a back pattern harmonic complete. We go long, see where the London Open is there, okay? Comes down, doesn't break the EMA cloud, comes bound to test support, breaks the EMA cloud, boom, okay? We then, we look, we go short, a butterfly pattern during the US session completes, we complete in a projection zone. We go along above the 34 EMA cloud. Boom, 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 all the way. Now, this morning, again, I traded gold this morning. We've got a bullish bias. We've got the European open. Now, this time on gold, we look for a five minute time frame. So I've got the European gold pit open. It's denoted in with a yellow candle there. Okay. I'm looking long. I've got a really tight stop. I go below this uh, this pivot here. It's way below the 34 EMA cloud. I want to go long at 1911.50. Okay. We push up and we push up to the previous day's highs. There's always going to be a bit of selling pressure there. It comes back down, test the lower band of that European range and the cloud. We then push up, we get the London stock market open, boom, and it just keeps going. So just think of this, 1911.50, where is gold right now? On the same day, 1948.4, it did reach 1954. Anybody good at maths? 1954 take away 1911 is how many points? Anybody, come on. Forty-three points. How many ticks is that on gold? Four hundred and thirty ticks. But that, that actually, yeah, times ten dollars per tick, four thousand three hundred dollars in a day. Okay. If you went one micro gold contract, and I always go about two or three, one would give you $430 for the day, okay? Two would give you $860 for the day. Now, these trades don't happen every single day, but if you've got the right setup, you've got the, you know, even if you went for the New York gold pit open today, okay? and you go long outside of this New York gold pit open here. That entry was at 31.8. You got the highs of 54. That's, you know, that's 14 points, 140 ticks, $1,400, okay? 34 EMA part of that um, 
trading add-on club. And to be honest, the trading add-on club is so cheap. Okay, harmonics, everything is $79 a quarter. And every quarter I add new um, indicators. Next quarter, we're adding um, MACD divergence and we're adding um, automated uh, candlestick pattern recognition. Okay, and as long as you remember, you keep getting access to all the old ones and you get all the new ones. But this is a simple trade, okay? We had two great trades using the harmonic pattern. This was without using anything else, okay? I got by, you know, I back up with signals on Xprat or Elliott Wave or, or whatever. But, you know, sometimes you don't get an Elliott Wave pullback. Um, how else are you going to trade? There's some really great um, trades on these pit opens. And this is a great trade. This is, you know, this is typical. You'll probably get one of these, uh, you know, twice, maybe three times a month and you'll get a runner. Now, you don't have to trade gold. You could, I trade platinum uh, a lot, almost every day, don't we, Greg uh, and Gary? We trade platinum a hell of a lot. We trade uh, other metals like copper, uh, silver. They act pretty much the same sort of way, okay? Um, but I'm, what I'm trying to show you is the power of this trading add-on club. Um, you know, they're not always there, but if you've got them on your chart, when they set up, you're, you're aware, you're drawn into that gold pit open. You've got very, very small risk here. I mean, you know, the stop is at uh, 1909. You've got a 1911 for, yes, it's not even a couple hundred bucks, okay? A couple hundred bucks to win 4,300 bucks, okay? This is really, really a strong tool. It, it just have to happen once a month and you, you, you know, you're really, really good. It only costs $79 a quarter guys. So, you know, and all I want to do is help you give you tools. The reason why I don't dump loads on you right at the beginning is because you need to learn. So we give you a, a few or two indicators every quarter and you learn to use them. The, what works for you will go through that, vlog that education understand what's going off uh, and over that quarter you get more comfortable with it then we add some more okay uh, and you you might think do you know what that's i actually quite like that trade i'm in the us i like that new york gold pit open uh, if if things are right if i'm above the 34 ema here i've got a good signal risk is good i'm going to go for it yeah if i'm below the 34 ema i'm looking for a short to break the low of that you know, that's one trade a day, but actually it might not set up right for you only once a week and you might win 40 ticks, 50 ticks, 60 ticks. Uh, but it's in your arsenal of uh, trades that you're going to provide. And then there's the harmonic trades. Again, if you look on that uh, vlog, and I'm going to give you the uh, link now in the chat. Um, some of those ones, you, we, you, you use them on a higher time frame, the harmonics, when they complete on oil, for example, on the four hour or the 60 minute, um, it gives you some really great uh, confidence in, the, in the, the, the direction that you want to trade oil, for example. So there's lots and lots of examples in there. So have you got any questions before I move on uh, about the trading add-on club? Um, it's a bit like Spotify, but for trading charts, okay? Think or swim a ninja trader at the moment, 79 bucks a quarter, absolutely nothing. And to be honest, you make that back in less than a trade. I mean, $4,300 here, pay, you know, it pays you for quite a long time um, just on one trade. So um, it's a great um, trade club. Uh, we've got some, I've got, I've got some amazing ideas for the next year or so. Uh, but again, it's about doing it in baby steps, bringing, uh, trying to bring the experience I've got into indicators, but what, you know, once a quarter we add to them. Uh, so we're not overloading. Any questions on that before I move on? On the, the trading add-on club, harmonics, uh, the, the EMA cloud or the range breakouts. Speak now. Absolutely, George. You can use in conjunction with Elliott Wave uh, 100%. We've got a Wave 4 pullback coming up right here, right now. So, you know, this is this is pretty cool. 
Um, but yes, uh, you'll usually find harmonic patterns really do coincide with that. Uh, and if you've got a wave four pullback and then you've got New York Gold Pit open, for example, you'll find um, uh, for, for Elliott Wave, for example, if you have a wave four pullback, usually around that 34 EMA uh, on, uh, on, a, on a smaller time frame like this, uh, you will find it finds support in, in that uh, way four as well. So that's a non-linear support zone, for example. And I'm going to show you an example of that. On a higher time frame, on a daily, we'd use different um, EMA clouds. So I use 55 and 89 on a daily time frame for stocks. I'm going to show you a couple of examples of those uh, and how they work as well. Um, but yes, it's, the trading add-on club is about giving you add-ons that are going to give you confidence in the trades using specific strategies like Elliott Wave, uh, you know, like Roller Coaster or like the X Brand Elgo. It's about uh, it's not specific strategies. It's about giving you confidence uh, and that extra tick in the box for the, the direction you think you, you, you're you're going to go. Okay. Any more questions before I move on? Okay. So I want to go to grub, grub a dub dub in the tub. Now, I've already traded this once. I'm in again now. But what I want to show you is um, a couple of things. I want to go through this is Training View, uh, and this is Elliott Wave Indicator Suite. Um, but I want to show you the importance of support and resistance zones, but also the clouds, how the Elliott wave works, and then combining these uh, expert signals as well. Uh, you know, this is an all-in-one type of affair with, with a stock. Um, so I want to go back in time a little bit. I want to go back to this particular pullback here. So this was a wave four pullback. Now, if you remember way back when some of you uh, asked questions about uh, how do we get in a wave three? And I always answered, get in the fifth wave. And if it goes longer than the original third wave, you're in the third wave. And this is what happened here. So we had a wave four pullback just here. Let me get rid of this a second just to clean the chart up a little bit. So we pulled back, we found support in a, in a proper linear support and resistance zone, this yellow zone here. We also, I used the 55 and 89 combined on the daily time frame for stocks. So we got this uh, non-linear support as well here. And then we're looking for an entry. Okay, now at this point, I went pretty aggressive on this entry. Um, and I was, the, you know, you considering that we got a previous short term support and resistance here. So it's not in yellow because it's only happened once and you've got a bit of clustering here. So it's not uh, really strong. But you know what? I get a five star expert signal here. Then I get a six star expert pushing through there. OK, so I'm co more confident in this trade now. If I if I'm not in already, I get this six star. I got to get in now. OK, when that candle closes and then it gaps up and pulls and makes new highs. Then we've had the pullback into the elections. OK, now this pullback into the elections has met all the rules. OK, for a wave four pullback. If I bring that short-term support resistance zone over look where that wave four found support okay so again when we're framing the charts with our support and resistance zones uh, that comes into play again we come back down to test this 55 and 89 moving average uh, clouds really really strong uh, we look at our stochastic down here it's pulled back and crossed over in the oversold zone the 535s pulled back between 90 and 140%. Everything looks good. And this is on its way. Fifth wave target zone will make a new all time high on Grub. So here I've combined EMA Clouds, Elliott Wave, and the X Brad Algo. And I'm trading this stock twice in a couple of months. 
because everything lines up for me. Um, you know, you can't just have Elliott Wave on your chart. And I'm not trying to sell you lots of other things, but certain strategies like Elliott Wave, like Roller Coaster, like the X Brad Algo, they need certain circumstances to be correct in the market to give you those signals. So what I've done is combine, you know, what I've done is try to develop strategies and indicators and the, and the latest algo and the, the trading add-on clubs trying to give you add-ons to try and give you that, that um, opportunity or more opportunities to get high probability trades in the markets, whether you're trading stocks, futures, whatever. You know, I trade futures every, well, four days a week, the inner circle, we win most days, okay? The stocks right now, we're on fire. We just made a load of money. We got out before all the election pullback. And we just got in a load yesterday, okay? And I'm going to go through some of those uh, soon. So it's about having the tools and understanding the tools. You can't just rely on one thing because market conditions change from day to day, from week to week. You need to understand the basics. The support and resistance zones are critical, okay? You need, you know, with the add-on clubs, having these uh, uh, clouds, these harmonic patterns, they, you know, they don't happen every single day or every single week, but when they happen, those harmonic patterns, it gives you really good confidence. Hey, I'm looking for longs here, okay? And then all of a sudden you get a wave, your wave falls pulled back and you're looking for a long, there we go, or you're looking for a short. You've got to have tools in your arsenal that will work for you. So, um, you know, Elliott Wave's good for those pullbacks. Bits is good for breakout. Roller coasters are good for those stochastic, um, MACD crossovers in, in circum, circ, you know, so sometimes we haven't got an Elliott wave sequence. We've got more of a roller coaster ride. We're, we're going from overbought to oversold to overbought to oversold. Okay. And that's why I developed that because sometimes we're not trending. Uh, so you need those opportunities to get in uh, when the markets are like that. And now the new X Brad Algo gives you opportunities with 12 decision points. Basically it takes my trading brain and it's taken a long time to develop because my brain's a bit fickle now uh, to give you and grade you trades long and short. And this is where it helps. So in this case, I combined uh, a little bit from the add-on club, the, um, the clouds, the Elliott wave. And in the first trade, in the first instance here, I actually used the expert to give me confidence to either add or continue and not be so aggressive on that trading stop and let it run. And that worked, okay? Uh, when we look at, um, uh, what we did we get into uh, yesterday? We got into Zoom, uh, Zillow, sorry, uh, yesterday, okay? So here, Zillow was the trade back here on the Xbrat, back in May, and it's gone long ever since. It's, oh, it's come down to touch the 55 when it's really, really bullish. This pullback here has found support in the 89 and started to move back up. So <clears throat> I know we're in a strong bullish trend. I know I've gone from oversold to overbought. There's no Elliott wave there, but I've got a good potential trade here. I've got everything going on. I've got earnings coming up. I've got a catalyst for a move. I know by using my clouds that this is a great support zone. It's a non-linear support zone. I'm using my 6-4 moving average on my Elliott Wave indicator to look for that entry. So I say to myself before earnings, okay, if earnings comes out and this is good, I've got well, election day coming up. There could be a good catalyst. It's going to be quite bullish here. If this support holds and comes up above this six four moving average high, I go long, okay? $10,000 risk here, $6,000 profit already, okay? So it's about combining understand market behavior. There's no Elliott wave there. I've used a six four moving average from the Elliott wave indicator to give me the entry. I've used the, uh, the clouds uh, there. And again, this is a trade that we're in on the inner circle. So, you know, it's, it's about you know, it's not just sticking to one thing. It's about understanding market behavior. What's going off? Election day. We're probably going to have a real good, uh, we've had a pullback into election. We're going to have a look. Let's look for some pullbacks 
let's look for some good strong stocks. And that's what happened. Okay, uh, CRWD is another example. This is a wave floor pullback. Um, it, I'm just going to, I'm not going to re reestablish the, um, the wave count there, but that was a great pullback. Again, look at this 55 and 89 cloud, finding support in there. Really, really strong. Uh, UNP we're in right now. This is a different type of strategy. This came from uh, one of my inner circle members because we are a team after all. Um, but this was, this is, you know, we're in this right now. SMG was another one. Uh, I mean, this really is a strong, this was, a, this was an earnings play. But again, if we look back, we've had a wave four that's pulled back into my 55 and 89 um, EMA clouds. It's found support. It's behaved perfectly. It's actually gone through the fifth wave target zone. It's pulled back and it's found support in there leading up to earnings. So you just got to go. What did I use for entry? Six for moving average high. Boom. Okay. $10,000 risk here. It's almost at $10,000 profit in two days. Twilio. Probably not doing so well today. No, it's about break even. Again, this was a uh, this is a wave four. You can see I did the work on the uh, the five thirty five down there. I just haven't uh, re isolated the the wave count. Uh, but again, nice pullback into the fifty five day moving average here. This uh, this actually the EMA cloud. This previous pullback was deeper into the eighty nine. Now, this gives me confidence when this pulls back and finds support in the 55, there is a bullish bias to here. So, um, you know, we, we are looking for that long. Uh, we got in Zoom today as well. We've, we've traded Zoom a lot. Um, we traded this after this wave four pullback here after earnings. We traded this move up. It's pulled back. We're going in again. Our average holding position in the blend is $131. Uh, so this, this is a strong stock for us. Um, what else are we in? We're in work as well. Again, great looking trade. Uh, you know, this was basic stuff, uh, really. <clears throat> this was um, just looking for a linear support. This was a straddle type trade. I wanted to go short here or long here, uh, but I've gone long. Uh, so again, it's about using different things. Um, so that's stocks. Just wanted to go over a couple of the stocks from, let me know when you can see the Starbuck trade here. When you can see the chart. You see the Starbuck chart, Starbucks chart. So yes, Paul, thank you. Okay, so traded this. Uh, this was the um, election day here. Uh, we got five and six star buy on the 39 minute. Again, I'm using my experience to give you the time frames. And this was in the Discord group. It's one of the stocks that's followed in there on the 39 minute. Starbucks buy. Yeah, five star, then a six star. So we wait for the close. We look at major support resistance zones on high time frames, and I'm one to one to there. This is intraday trade. I need to be in and out in the same day, okay? Especially when we're having those elections and all of the bond fighting that's going off there. So again, very very simple. Again, this goes down to you, Tim, as well. Using a pivot, I want to get above above this pivot for my entry. What my stop loss is below. Uh, recent pivot for, you know, before the five and six star buy. So this is the ex-Brad Algo. And I've got a one-to-one -one into that um, support and resistance zone. So you know what? I'm going to go for it. Federico, it's not a weird time frame. You split how many minutes the uh, US market, stock market is open and you'll find 39, 78 and 195 go into that. So you see? So first 39 minutes, boom, in up to 100% profit times risk, okay? It came down. I got the, the uh, train stop in there, <laughs> but I, and I, I think Matt and the other guys will actually tell you, I put in the chat last night, I was a bit tired before 
I said, you know what, I'm going to take 100% profit times risk now. I'm going to switch it off and go away. It's not going to go any higher. So I took the profit there. Okay. Um, we go to Star uh, HD was the one from yesterday. So originally we got the 78 minute um, signal the previous day. Got five and six star. Well, we've got the five star buy. The, the trailing stop does not, uh, the expat doesn't have one. Version two will. Okay. Um, but for me, if I'm intraday, as soon as it goes to the 50% profit times risk, I make it risk free. When it gets to 100%, I make it 50%, and so on and so forth. Uh, and things like that. But guess what? I'll use the EMA cloud on 21 if I'm trading, if I'm day trading, okay, uh, or 34 uh, EMA cloud to use it as um, my trading stop. And that's what's going to be included in version two, okay? Uh, so HD, very, very simple. Again, stop loss just below the low of the day on this one. Next, you know, entry just above this pivot point here. Boom, straight in, 100% profit times risk. My trailing stop was just up here, and I took about 75% profit times risk in the end yesterday. So two trades, $26,000, boom, done, finished in a day. One of, my, one of my best days on stocks for a long time because it was so quick. Usually, I am swing trading over a long time. No, Algo is only available on TradingView, okay? I am getting it developed for uh, Ninja Trader, but it will not ever be on Think or Swim, okay? Think or Swim may not even exist soon, okay, or in the next year. I will spend my development dollars on platforms that are going to still exist and the ones that can have um, Kaikanashi and a lot of other stuff that we need to use for the Algo uh, to work. Yeah. Okay. So um, very simple. This is stocks. Um, you know, we get those signals come through. Uh, we've had a 195 signal on FSIV today. So if we just go to that, that's come through on the Discord group. Okay. Uh, FSIV six star by 195 minutes. So let's have a look at it. Okay. Let's do a little bit of work and see what's going on. So I'm going to go to my 195. I've got a six star buy here. Um, I'm going to put some, oh, it's pretty rangy, isn't it, actually? I've got a really strong support resistance zone there. I'm going to draw that in. I think that's about right there, okay. Uh, market won't be available for interactive brokers because you can't develop for interactive brokers. And Infinity Futures, their their platform's not uh, not ready for something like the Algo. Uh, it's a long way away. But to be honest, guys, <clears throat> TradingView is one of the simplest charting platforms you can use. And I never ever use the same charting platform as my broker. Uh, I've got Infinity uh, Futures as my future was one of my futures brokers, and guess what? I've never opened a chart. Okay, uh, I have Saxo, IG, and a few other brokers. I've never opened a chart. I use a charting package that works for me, and I keep my brokerage separate. Brokerage is for execution. You only choose the best broker for execution. You don't use choose it for charting platform. TradingView is the future for charting platforms. It's cloud-based. The data is dirt cheap. I pay nearly $500 a month for my institutional grade software for data. It costs me $48 a year for futures data on TradingView. Okay. <laughs> it's just, it's phenomenal. Really is a great looking, it's a great platform. So, we got a six star buy here on FSIV, um, FLISV, God I'll say that. Way. But it's pretty range bound right now. Uh, I've got a signal. I would go along above the signal candle here, but I'm going into trouble. So what do I do? I say, no, thank you. Yeah. I've got a Facebook 
signal on the 195. Is that interesting? Absolutely. Okay. Um, actually, I'm in Facebook here. Uh, but um, what we are looking for is this six star by this candle here. Okay. So uh, let me do a bit of work on this. We've got these highs here. We've had earnings. We've had the gap up. It's moving. We've got a six star buy. Uh, it's all right. I'm not uh, trading off this chart again, so I can move things. I can delete it. Um, so six star buy here on this candle. The candle's closed. The signal comes in when the candle closes. My stop loss is going to be below the candle. My entry is just going to be above the candle. Okay. So we've got to consider, is there enough risk to reward to the next target zone? Probably not for that sort of time frame. Okay. And that happens. If it breaks there, however, there could be another signal. But right now, that's not tradable. And you've got to have the discipline to walk away from them trades just because it's Facebook, just because it's an exciting stock and, you know, everybody uses Facebook. It doesn't mean you've got to trade it. Just because you've got a signal, you've got a resistance zone. What's your risk to reward? I'm not trading it, Okay. You, one of the one of the things that uh, is the hardest to do is to walk away from a trade, uh, and I told you now it's not easy. Okay, uh, Adobe. Let me just have a look at Adobe a second. This is more interesting. I'm just going to put that in there. I'm going to put those highs in there. I've got a six star buy here. So I've got two options. I go really tight on the stop below the low of that candle. Remember, when we get a six star buy, it's the highest grade type of trade and we are looking for momentum to continue. Okay. <laughs> so now we're looking for an entry above that signal candle. Risk to reward is one to one to this resistance zone, one to 2.5 up to this resistance zone. Okay. Now, for me, if it wasn't towards the end of the week, I may look to go at, on this one on Adobe <clears throat> purely because. Once it goes through the 50% profit times risk, I'm risk free. If I get a runner and it pushes through, I'm fine. If it finds resistance there, like it did on my shorter term trade on Starbucks, I either get out or I adjust my stop to 50% profit times risk. Okay. Um, but if it does push through and I get a runner, I've, I've made a great deal of money. So it's not, it's not looking too bad right now. Okay, so that's that's the expert on stocks. Now let's go to futures. Right, one of the things that's important with futures is that we uh, let me just hide these a second. We use Heikenashi on futures and forex. Okay, um, you don't get those on um, Think or Swim. Now, one of the reasons why we use this is a Heikenashi candle is an averaging candle. Uh, so it's not specific, it's not exactly the same as the actual price action candle that you get. It makes it easier when you're managing a trade, but also it makes it easier to get higher probability trades on um, these 24 hour prod products, putting the algo to a Heikenashi. When you're using stocks, you don't use Heikenashi because it's not a 24 hour product. But when you're using futures, when you're training futures and Forex, you use Heikenashi. Okay, very, very simple. Um, you know, and it's just, uh, it makes some very, very high probability trades. So let's have a look at ES. Uh, this is, I want to go on the three minute. Okay, now, one of the things we are going to be adding to version two of this is the cloud. Okay, because this will help us with trading stops um, predominantly, um, but also entries. So today, 
on ES. Let's just talk about today. We came back down to test one of my support and resistance zones. Okay. The market open is, at, I'm going to put a vertical line in here because it's 1530 my time here in Europe. So this yellow line here is the market open. Okay. I want to tell you a story here. So we've come back down to test. It's coming back up. I get a six star buy on this candle, right? So provisionally, my entry needs to be above this signal candle here, around about five three five oh three seventy five. Let's just turn that green for go. Okay. Am I going into trouble from overnight? So this is the European morning. There could be a little bit of trouble here, but elections, US market open, we always get a bit of a surge. Um, so we're looking good. Where's my stop loss? Where's my risk to reward to the next support and resistance zone? Next support and resistance zone is a long way up. Okay, so my stop loss. This is the signal candle here. If you want to be ultra conservative, you need to go to this pivot there. Okay. For me, I've got this support and resistance zone. I just need to be below there. Okay. That's where it, yeah, it would have taken it out here, but that's where it is. I use my FIB extension tool. Stop, entry, same on the entry again. Okay, so uh, we've got a 53075 entry. The 100% profit times risk is 3516. Okay, 13 points, 13 times four, 2652. 52 ticks, uh, that's a pretty good trade. Okay, look what happened earlier in the morning. Okay, we got European open here. It came up to test came back down, got a signal, but we can't go because it's going into resistance. It did move up eventually, but then went sideways. What's happened right now? Oh no, we've got another signal. What do we do, okay? It's come back down, it's tested the support and resistance zone, really, really key and important here. We got a five star here. This time of day, you've got to be more aggressive, go long above the five star. Let's move that up just slightly there. Let's not risk as much as we risked on that first trade of the day. So that's, this is the signal candle here. Let's go and put the stop just underneath the cloud. Okay, risk to reward. Stop, entry. Where's the high of the day so far? Just there, my risk to reward by going really tight is one to two, okay? Right now, we've pushed through that entry. I can adjust my stop to reduce the risk even more below the cloud, okay? If I was really conservative and didn't want to give any of this four or $500 back, I'd go risk-free. No harm, no foul, okay? Uh, the thing is, there's lots of different strategies for trading this. One of the most important things is understanding behavior, what time of day it is, what's going up in the markets, and having your support and resistance zones on. I want to show you something on support and resistance zones. These are all the symbols that uh, we produce signals for in the currency algo. So currency, futures, and the main uh, Forex pairs. I produced, I spent hours producing support and resistance zone on the 60 minute for every single one of these okay and they are sticky what i mean by sticky is you don't trade into them you trade out of them or you know you away from them um that they are actually available in that discord group i've done the same for metals as well um but this is should be part if you can't do this, you need to learn, okay? This is really, really important. When, if you go to a recording on my TradingView um, profile, I'll give you the link to the recording. I did a live stream on TradingView for an hour, basically teaching you how to do 
these water resistance things. Okay, I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to put it into here. Hey guys, just getting started. Oh, that's my dulcet voice there. Okay, so just going to put it in there. You can watch that. It's recorded. It shows you how to do these. Uh, you'll notice in these uh, on these uh, currencies are in orange at the moment. Okay, because I spent a lot of time putting them on. But I need to understand, I need to test and adjust over the next quarter how they perform, okay? Not just day by day. You can't change them day by day because they're not always going to test the same zone uh, every single day or every single week. You need to give it a few months, test and adjust, and eventually you will get some really hot zones, okay? Uh, so we, you know, Euro, US dollar, for example, we then go down to a three minute time frame and we're only trading between the zones okay only trading between the zones when we've got enough risk to reward so in this instance here this six star buy we've not got a risk enough risk reward we don't sell into support okay so we get this uh, move down here we've got to be below this pivot to enter we then get a six star buy have we got enough risk to reward? We have. It goes flat. Didn't take any money. Fine. Okay. Um, we get a six star buy here. Uh, I mean, it just just keeps going. Okay. And sometimes time frames work in different ways. So this is the fifteen minute time frame on Euro US dollar. Okay. These these this is the trade I did. Um, okay. So what I like when I'm using the expert algo, no matter what I'm trading. I like to come down. I like to test. I like to test again. It's like a, it's like a pebble hitting the floor. It bounces. It bounces again. It settles. Then we get a four. We get a five star. I go long. Okay. I traded lists and in I did a lot one of those live trades on those chart trades in, um, um, in the Discord group there, and it went all the way up. Big trade. Not the biggest trade of that day, though. The biggest trade of that day was this trade on New Zealand dollar, US dollar. This was a 2000 euro dollar trade. Okay. It was on a smaller time frame. Look at the time of the day. Between 7 and 8 a.m. Okay, this is the gold pit open here. That took me into the trade. I got a five and a six star uh, buy. I got loads of risk reward up to the top there. Uh, stop just below this pivot point. Five star, six star. Okay, I've got to go long just above this pivot. Now, why did I choose that pivot? These, remember, Heiken Ashi is averaging. For this to change from red, to green means some bullish momentum, but it failed and then it came back down again. You see, got only one green candle. If that was normal um, candles, you'd see red, green, red, green, red, green. So for me, this failure to come out of this move down is where I want to be long. Okay. And then that's the long and it just keeps going. So if I go to currency signals, Told you so. Uh, this was the trade here. Okay, so this was the trade. Uh, I traded this live and I adjusted stop losses and everything like that. Uh, New Zealand dollar. So we got the four star, the six star buy, 0748. Remember, I get up at seven o'clock in the morning. I'm down here by 730. I'm looking at what's going off. Oh, this looks good. Um, that's at that point when I took that picture, 2,074 euros profit uh, for a thousand lot trade there. So huge, really, really huge understanding the time of the day, risk to reward, uh, lots of fresh air, uh, getting it on there, getting the stop tight. Remember, these are averaging candles. These red candles here were failures to pull away averaging uh, away from this bullish move. Then we got the six, four and six star buy. My stop loss is going to be below these two red candles. It doesn't matter what's left of that. 
that was a failure to move away from that average move up. Then we're in and we're gone. Okay, really, really. This, this is my trailing stop up here. You know, obviously this was the original stop, and on the um, on the brokerage platform, that's that's where you put the stop there. Uh, let's close that. Okay. Right. Any questions on the XBRAT algo? There must be quite a few. Uh, so please, please ask them. Do you want me to look at a specific instrument uh, or anything like that using the XBRAT? Have you got any questions on, on Elliott Wave, uh, you know, or Roller Coaster? or the add-on club, now is the time to ask. I'm only going to do one of these a month, okay? Because I'm busy, right? I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying that you don't deserve more, but I am very busy. I trade every single day with my inner circle, and it does take its toll, especially when I'm spending European mornings trading and uh, putting stop trades together and then trading live. Uh, it takes its toll. So, you know, we are 7.30 p.m. this morning, I was down in front of this computer at 7.30 a.m. How many of you do that every day? Come on guys, questions, questions, questions. Okay, risk to reward. Now it's important to do your support and resistance zone. So if I go to um, copper, just an example here, okay. So with the first thing you have to do, and I gave you the link to um, to that live stream, Eddie to show you how to put these support and resistance zones on. So there, when you're trading futures and Forex and things, uh, you're going to be trading them on uh, the three, the five, the 15, the 30 minute. If you're trading on an hourly, you're longer term. But for me, I like to go to the hourly time frame and I like to put, if I zoom out, my support and resistance zones on. Okay. And you'll see over time, these are tested quite regularly. You know, this resistance level here once, twice, three times, four times, finally push through. Then we come back down and test it as support. We break through, we come back down and test the resistance. So this is a really sticky zone. This is on the 60 minute time frame. Okay, so I need to be um, looking for trades, if you like, on, on smaller time frames, but between those. So if we go to this three minute chart right now, if I'm getting these uh, sell signals on these six stars, I have not got enough risk to reward to this trouble. Okay, uh, let's measure it. Okay, just just for you know, this one's obvious. It's in the support zone. Okay, but let's just, for example, take this six star sell here. Okay, first of all, my stop's going to be above this pivot where we go. We're going short, so where these green candles are. Okay. My entry, this is the six star. It's got to be below the signal candle and below this previous pivot. So it's going to be there. Okay, going to change that for green. So now I've got my stop and my entry. To do the risk reward, we use the FIB extension tool. Click the first time on the stop, the second time on the entry, and then move it along the entry to, at the same price and click it a third time. So my risk to reward is one to 0 0.75 to the start of that spawn resistance zone. For me, that's not enough. I need at least one to one or ideally one to 1 1.6 or more, okay? So that's, you know, 90% of the trades that you look at, you'll probably discount. And that is a sign of a good trader. Again, walking away from the trade. Let's just delete all of those. I might use them again in a minute. Okay, so, um, yeah, yeah, one to 1.6, really, really important. Now, I did notice there was a five star buy on this uh, four minute. Let's go five minute. Is it there? No. Yeah, it's there. Okay. So now let's switch this around. Stop loss is going to be below this recent pivot here. These are the last red candles uh, before we got this five star buy. Entry. 
above the signal candle, okay? Europe's closed, by the way. So um, this is going to be low on volume. Stop, entry, entry, okay? So we've had a high today. We'll form a zone with those two highs there, okay? But also I want to form a zone between that fight, that rejection and all of this cluster, okay? Again, it's the time of the day. We're going, you know, we are what, uh, uh, a few hours away from the, the US uh, close. Indexes have gone flat. If the indexes pick up, this could be a good long trade. We're one to one to this uh, noise, if you like. But you've got to think, copper, this is 12 bucks 50 per tick. This is quite, you know, 31005 is a stop. Three one one thirty five. This is a it's a big it's a big boy trade. Okay, earlier on in the day I'd take this. Later on in the day, maybe not. I would take it though. Whoops, what did I do there? Oh, I changed to. So I don't know what happened there. I would take it if I was going to be a lot more tighter with the risk. Now let's look at this. So 3108.5135, that's a better risk reward. Got a big uh, doji candle there after the signal candle. Got the same high. We formed a range low and now we're in that range. So for me right now, the entry is also above the highs of these green candles. So remember with Heiken Ashi, they're averaging. So we're, put, we're coming down, we're coming down. It attempts to go up on two candles, fails, comes down again. That failure is got to be uh, taken care of because it failed there again just here. If it breaks that, 3.1135 is the sensible entry. My risk to reward, though, if I now go on a tight stop, okay, so I'm risking a lot less. If this does break and run up, that risk reward is one, two, three. Yeah. So can you understand that I'm not manipulating. It's the time of the day. I've got this doji candle here. Entry strategy is sensible. It's above these highs and these highs here. My stop's going to be below this. Because if it breaks the low of this doji, this thing's going to come down. If it was earlier on the day, I'd probably put a reversal on if it took me out and go twice as many contracts going down, okay? Um, so again, this is Xbrat as it is. I've got, I'm right in the middle of support and resistance zone. I've actually put a temporary ones on there for what's happened today. I've got a sensible entry strategy. I've got a five star buy. I, you know, maybe I'd like a six star buy, but you know, um, if it breaks the stop before it goes in, just cancel the order. So hopefully, Eddie, does that make sense? Yeah. I'm reducing the risk a lot there, but it's the time of day for me to do that. You know, for me personally, it's 7.30 at night. I should be watching TV, drinking a beer. So I'm not going to put this trade on personally, but this is the way I would attack this particular signal, okay? Does that help, Eddie, yeah? Uh, I'm using, uh, yeah, I'm using the dome um, every day. <laughs> yeah, I use it every day. I am going to open now because I'm not trading. Um, but yes, George, I use Infinity every single day. Um, really good. So let's have a look at Walmart for Troa. It's actually on my list. Um, We've traded this already. Uh, get rid of this. Got earnings coming up. Mm, 
I think there's more of a pullback in this yet. We go look at the weekly first. Great bullish move. I'm personally not in this long term. I'm in uh, Costco and Target. Um, but um, you know, this has had a great move. Right now, we are looking for a pullback down into the 120s before I'd look really for a, um, a trade. And, and to be honest, right now, we've got earnings coming up, so I need to understand what's going to go off through earnings. Um, so there's no trade for me there at the moment. No, the compare is if you're trading uh, gold, for example, you're going to have to have got, uh, the US dollar on there, Vic. Okay. Um, or, for example, let me know when you can see the ZB uh, chart. Okay. So I compare ES and the US dollar when I'm trading bonds. Okay. Let me just get rid of that in a second. So let's talk about how those correlations work, which is really, really important. Okay, so white is US dollar. Can you see that at the moment? Yeah, and blue is ES. So for me, uh, we have to have all the ducks in a row when I'm trading um, bonds. So bonds. I will look at ES and I will look at um, the, um, the dollar. So for me, I like the uh, ES to go up. Yeah. And I like the dollar to come down. That will give me a nice short. Okay. You see when ES comes down here and the dollar goes up, this moves back up. Yeah. Okay. So it's those correlations. Now, when you're using, for example, let's go to here. So this is a silver chart. The gold compare is gold, and this is the US dollar. Now, at certain times a day, this moves very, very well. Okay, so uh, what you're looking for is uh, when the dollar goes down, gold goes up, silver should follow, okay? That's pretty much the correlations as they are right now. But when you've got them on your chart, it just makes it easier to, um, to see those correlations. Um, for example, if we just change that to platinum now, for example, we can see uh, platinum's moved that well today. We, we traded platinum this, uh, today with the inner circle. Um, so you see the dollar go down, gold goes up, platinum goes up. Okay. Yeah. It's about the time of day as well. Okay. So you'll notice that sometimes the correlations are a little bit flat and that depends on the time of day. They're going to be a little bit out of kilter now because you, um, uh, Europe's closed, okay? Europe, are, there's a lot of traders in Europe that trade metals and they move the market. By the way, those that have the ex Brad Algo on the monthly lease, within your first three months, if you buy the lifetime license, the money you have spent on your monthly will be taken off the bill for your lifetime license, okay? And I can tell you now, there's a guy in here called Sal, if he's still here. Uh, are you still here, Sal? Yeah. He made his money back in one trade on NQ, okay? Uh, more than three lifetime licenses on his first trade. Um, so by all means, lease it for a month or two. But if you go past three months, you will not get that money taken off a lifetime license. Um, once you've got it, You've got it, and it's really good. The lifetime license is six nine nine. Okay, Neil. Uh, Neil. Uh, and to be honest, I can make two thousand euros in a bloody day, or uh, on one trade on forex. I don't know how much money Sal made, but you know, some days uh, on Inner Circle we do anything from three hundred to. 
700. I know uh, Raymond's first day today, he made a thousand bucks. <laughs> so, you know, lifetime license, 699. It's a no brainer. Um, let me find. So, I'm just going to give you the link to the Expert Algo. Yeah, Raymond's not in at the moment. His first day in the inner circle today, and he made a thousand bucks. So remember, with the Xbrad Algo, you get your the vlog. So I make videos almost every day to help you understand. So this was 144 ticks on ES. This is how I traded it. This video tells you how I traded it. Okay, this was Euro US dollar. This was Euro US dollar again. This was box. You know, this was gold around the European pit open and on a, on a six star sell, boom, straight down. Okay. Um, you know, th these, I try and make these every day, whether it's Forex, whether it's indexes, whether it's metals, um, they're there. This is the support zones video, gold, swing trading. Uh, this was, um, was this one? Uh, which stock was the grub? Oh, this is grub. Okay, this was the fifth wave move. This was the fifth wave move on grub that we played with the expert and the Elliott wave together. Um, so yeah, I, again, there's just loads there. I just try and make them at least four a week uh, on different circumstances, different instruments, just to give you only five to seven minutes long try and give you that help uh, when you're trading. Now, I can't trade for you. Um, you can't be in my inner circle. There's, there's, there's no vacancies right now. Uh, but all I can do is some of the trades I trade, uh, I will cover in a, in a short video to show you how I formed the entry, where the stock was, how I managed to trade, uh, and all that sort of thing. So you know, I can do as much as I can to help you use that. And I'd like to bring in the Elliott Wave in there as well, because Elliott Wave is very strong for me, guys. I'm still, you know, the Xprat's fantastic, and it's great for day trading. To be honest, it's great for, for swing trading. But my bread and butter, my money is made by swing trading stocks. Yeah. $10,000 risk yesterday, $10,000 profit right now. That's where I make my money, Okay. And it's all, most of it is just basically Elliott wave, pullbacks, go, pullbacks, go, swing trading. Yeah. Uh, and that's, that's, you know, Elliott wave is still very, very dear to me because that is um, how you can make the real big books. But you can make the real big books with the x brand algo if you get in on the trend early. Okay. And that's what it's all about. Uh, you can trade it with options. Uh, well, a couple of minor circle, I think Brian trades options with this. He does very, very well. Okay, very, very well. Um, so yeah, it gave basically gives you the signals. Then you've got to try and find you know, you've got to find the option strategy that suits that sort of signal. So depending on the time frame of the signal, uh, you know, if you're day trading or you know if you're intraday, you'd be probably looking at on a Friday or the following Friday, that sort of thing. But yeah. We use the, some of the guys use options all the time. Uh, yeah, the, the, the support resistance zones are very sticky, uh, Vic. Uh, the thing is, everybody should be able to do them, but I've been doing them for 20 years. So for me, I can spot where they need to be pretty quick. So I thought retail traders, and I don't mean to offend any of you, are lazy, yeah? If I can do the sport resistance zones for you, so one of the hardest works, hopefully you can use Elliott Wave, you can use the Xprat Algo, uh, and you can, uh, you can make some money. And you know, I'm doing some of the hard work for you. Uh, inner Circle is, uh, da -da -da -da, is here. there bit of information on there and some of my margaret here uh 
her account balance is at all time highs and it has been for quite a while now. So it keeps going. Uh, we've got Doug. Uh, there's quite a few. Uh, Dave, there's 15 at the moment. We are full. Raymond's just joined. Um, but there, there probably will be openings at the end of the year because COVID's taken its toll. Any more questions before I go and get a beer? It's beer o'clock. I will have one. I've actually got some tiger beer, Indian beer. I got some left from a curry the other week. So I, I, it's a sweet beer, but it's very nice. So I'm going to have some of that. Oh, I give up. What do we reckon now, guys? I mean, I'm an outsider and I'm looking in and I'm just looking at the data. And right now I see Biden get into 270 first and done. Yeah. Now, I don't really care who wins. You know, I'm English. I don't really give a shit. Um, but I'm just looking at the data right now. And I'm seeing that if Nevada comes in for Biden, he gets it. <laughs> thank you greg i'll see you on monday yeah half my inner circle of trump supporters and they're moving to spain if he loses and they're all coming to stay with me to begin with <laughs> i think so george yeah i think yeah mate you you may be right but the, at the moment the markets are really really doing well my blend investment portfolio is high it's really getting greg's coming as well you see i'll, I'll have to buy next door so i've got enough room <clears throat> okay guys have a great weekend i don't trade fridays um so i'll see you all really soon and uh, hopefully uh, you'll come on board don't forget the discord groups because the signals in there and basically, if I can, I answer live. I give you lots of examples with the expert algo. Uh, the expert algo is the next big thing. I'm telling you now, I've spent 250 odd hours just back testing, and I've been trading that type of strategy for 20 years. Thank you, guys. Uh, see you all soon. Yeah, I've already been in the hot tub today, Federico. Yeah, can't go in twice. Cheers, everybody.